Hello and welcome to ALW Research Team. This is Gills Land, Royal Observer Court Nuclear Monitoring Post. Let's go in and have a look. So this is the ROC post over here. We can have a quick look inside. It looks like the uh, fence is still intact for this one. And the louvers are the metal type which would indicate to me that this was a 1991 shutdown uh, in the deactivation and stand down of the Royal Observer Corps. So we'll just go through this gate. This is the typical mound for a Royal Observer Corps post. The full title is Royal Observer Corps Nuclear Monitoring Post. Oh. Big old school padlocks there, look, in the 90s. It's down in the post. So let's go down there and have a look. Is that locked? Yeah, that's locked up. Thank you, Alright, well, right, let's go down. This Royal Observer Corps nuclear monitoring post opened in 1961 and there was a constant shift of two Royal Observer Corps volunteers down in the bunker at any one time 24 hours a day. These were on rolling shifts and new workers would have come into this compound and they would have travelled down into the bunker on the ladder that I'm about to go down now. A while, a while are back. Yeah, so the counterweight's in the way on this one. Sometimes they put the hatch on the other way around, 90 degrees out from this. So you just got to watch your head when you're coming back up. Yeah. As you can see how close that counterweight is. Yeah, it's right in your way. That's the other side of the vent, we don't normally film that. The other side of the vent's just there. Can you see that, viewers? Just in there. Well, let's carry on down the ladder. It is a bit flooded this one, but I've got my wellies on, so I'll let you know how deep it is in a moment. Oh, not very. What is it weighs that weight? Sadly, quite smashed up. Someone's kicked the door off. Uh, this was the fire blanket that was commonplace in these. It's been removed. Yeah, it's been sadly, it's been smashed to bits. Uh, needlessly as well, needlessly smashed up by idiots. Uh, because of the actual material state of the door and cupboard is pretty good, but someone's been down here and just literally smashed it up. Oh, that's a shame, because, yeah, the interior is quite good. First off is telephone. Uh, so, the HQ for this area was Carlisle, on number 864, please dial 151, all other times dial 100. You can see here where the generator Repair board has been the spanners, one spanner, two spanner, three spanner, four, and then whatever that device was there. If you know, please leave a comment. Is that a sound? Four spanners make a bunch of soda mini more. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you can see this has got the polystyrene on the wall. It doesn't look like it's had the mains power though. It's just such a shame some morons come down here and smashed it up. So I reckon this would be a good one. Um, yeah, pretty vandalised, but why vlogging all the same? So this is Gill's lamp. ROC post. There's the bed that's been hammerated. Quite a. Apart from a little bit of damp in the hatch area, uh, it's pretty dry. 
pretty intact structurally it's just some moron smashed it up uh, I've got an old period carpet here rug to make it a bit more homely and then we've got the hashemine carpet that was standardised and then it's got the Fenner's rubber flooring as well which is a good feature of these ROC posts the, the rubber made it a bit nicer underfoot there we are Gillsland Royal Observer Corps nuclear monitoring post the 12 volt system has been removed all taken away the battery system used to be down here and the 12 volt lighting used to be over there fixed survey meter everything was bomb power indicator was over there all been stripped out over here this was the toilet area it's had quite a unique shelf put in there above the toilet area and then there's part of the toilet remaining there that is it so all that's left the pump's been damaged and the sump is starting to fill up there's part of a shadow board there in the sump area I'll try and pull that out part of a shadow board for maintenance fortunately that's under the water now that is Gillsland Royal Observer Corps Nuclear Monitoring Post thank you so much for watching I'm Andy from ALW Research Team. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you every Thursday with a new video. Bye bye for now. Dave's just going to close the hatch back up and put the rock back on top just to help preserve it. But we can clearly see the mound above the post. Uh, we've got, like we say, we've got the 91 um, later shutdown louvers, the metal louvers that would have replaced the wooden louvers here. The fencing is intact around it, which is Unusual. uniquely nice to see. Uh, that's the MOD type fencing there. Uh, it's uniquely intact, which is a good thing. Shoulder